So I've just been asked a question in one of the WhatsApp groups on how to use WhatsApp business. So I'm going to go ahead and jump onto the computer and show you really quickly. So let's get started. So the first thing that I highly recommend that you do is go ahead and download WhatsApp for desktop because sometimes it's a little bit easier to manage WhatsApp on the desktop as opposed to on the phone. So if we go to whatsapp.com forward slash download, we've got multiple different options down here. So whether you are downloading on a Mac, an iOS tablet or on Microsoft. So if you've got Microsoft, then you just click on there, go through the steps and that will take you to this here. So this is going to ask you to get started with WhatsApp. So I'm just going to click on that button there. So here you can go ahead and take a picture of the QR code that I've blanked out here, or you can go to tap the link devices, link device, or also you can link with phone number. So I'm just going to go ahead and link with phone number. So I'm going to put in the business phone number here. Click on next. Oh, before you go and do that, just make sure that you select the country. Then click next. Now on your phone, if you've already got WhatsApp business set up, you need to go ahead and open it up. And then you need to just move that over, go to settings on the right hand side, and then go to link devices, click on link a device. So then we can either go ahead and scan the QR code or link with a phone number instead. So if you've gone ahead and done what I've done on screen here, it's gonna give you eight digits to put in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put those in now. And then what you're gonna see on the screen is that that's gonna go ahead and download all of those messages within WhatsApp. And that could be WhatsApp or WhatsApp business. So you're gonna just go ahead and name this device. So desktop, laptop, save. So on this screen here, if you've got any linked devices at all, it's gonna show up on here. So I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and edit on the WhatsApp business page on your mobile first. So if I go to settings here, and I go to business tools here, I can go on my profile and I can say, okay, what the business name is, the sector, any opening hours, etc. And it's really, really easy to edit. You just literally click into there and you can start typing away or you can click into there and type away. So now that's obviously wrong because we're not closed on a Tuesday. <laughs> so let's go ahead and add this on. So 10 until, uh, nope. Let's get this right. Don't do what I'm doing here and be a wally. 10 and tall. Mm, no, we're not open till then. Three o'clock, Wednesday, same, Thursday, again, the same. And click on save. So there you go. So what you can also do is you can add your website and also um, email address so that needs to change so so I'm happy with that you can go to products so we can manage this so we've got tax services payroll bookkeeping year-end financial statements um add a new item on here so I'm going to call this our outsourced finance director services and you don't have to put a price and description in you do need to add an image so I'm going to go ahead and just add an image and I'm just going to pop a really generic picture in there and save that. Now it won't let you save unless you've actually got a picture in there so there we go so I'm going to go back again um, and I can just go back one more step and um, I can advertise from here and also reach more customers with Facebook and Instagram um, by adding WhatsApp to your accounts here so um, I have a Facebook page that this is linked to. So if we go to there, show page on your WhatsApp. So if somebody messages me through Facebook, um, I get the message in here too. We can also amend our greeting message. So um, here I have an automatic message um, for customers when they message me for the first time so they know it's me and I can go to greeting, change this here um, if I want to. So I can just literally click on it to change that. Send to everyone or everyone not in a dress book, only send to certain people. So I can save that if I want to. Um, away message. So we don't have an away message right now because the same email, uh, same message even just goes out. Quick replies. Um, so you can add um, quick shortcuts on here, which again, we've not done just yet because we don't need to. 
um, labels. So you can, again, label customers who are new, um, pending, paid, etc. So that's really good, but we don't use it in here because we've got CRM separate to this. And go back again. So that'll take you back to the screen. Now, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like and also consider subscribing and I should catch you at the next one.